the series, the ABCD1 series, the analogic questions and the probability, profit and loss. And there were pie charts and graphs based questions. Hi everyone, thank you so much for such an amazing response to all the videos that you are showing. So now I'm going to start with our new series known as Let's Talk Placements. In this uh, placement series we'll be talking about uh, some of the most inspirational stories, some of the most motivational people, how they have been able to crack certain companies, how they have been able to crack certain internships, what was the complete process about for that company, like was it an on campus, off campus, we'll discuss about each and everything and uh, what, what was the particular resume that should be made for that particular company and like it will give you a complete analysis overall analysis of how you should prepare for that particular company and what are the important things what are the important topics for the online coding test what are the important topics for uh, the interview rounds how many interview rounds are there and like what all mistakes we should not uh, commit before going for that interview rounds of that company so these are some of the things and today i'm here with the first episode of this let's uh, talk placement series and in this first episode i have with me a very special guest uh, she is Vaishnavi Singh Sisodia from MBM College of Engineering, Jodhpur. She is a BTEC final year student and has uh, recently got an offer from Goldman Sachs for the uh, analyst role. And she, she was part of the engineering campus hiring program this year. It was an off-campus drive. Everybody was eligible for this program. And she was the one who was able to crack this uh, analyst profile for Goldman Sachs through this program. So we'll talk about each and every detail about how the process was, what was her preparation strategy, what are the tips that she wanted to give, uh, how you should create your resume if you're applying for Goldman Sachs. And most importantly, today is the last date for application in this Goldman Sachs engineering campus hiring program that is being conducted in the month of February once again. So go ahead and apply for the program before wasting any time the link is there in the description below go ahead and apply for the uh, program and after that watch this complete analysis of how was uh, what was her preparation strategy and you'll come to know and how you can prepare for all the upcoming tests that goldman is going to conduct so all the best let's see what uh, vaishnavi has to say about this inspirational story <laughs> Thank you so much Vaishnavi for accepting the invitation. So we have Vaishnavi with us. So she'll be sharing her experience for Goldman Sachs engineering campus hiring program for today. So Vaishnavi, before starting, just give us a brief introduction. Okay, so hello everyone. Uh, first of all, thank you Arsh for inviting me to your channel. And I'm Vaishnavi Singh Sasadia. I'm a final year electronics and communication student at MBM Engineering College, Jodhpur. So a uh, little about my background, uh, I have done two internships till now, which like revolve around various concepts of web development, like uh, REST API, Node.js, uh, React, and databases like that. So yeah, like they were a great learning experience for me. And uh, currently in my college, I'm working as a training and placement skill coordinator. So that aspect also helped me a lot in improving my communication skills and it gaining the confidence and uh, yeah like apart from all this i'll be joining Goldman Sachs in uh, 2021 as full-time analyst that's perfect that's amazing thank you so much Vaishnavi but uh like those who are aiming to crack Goldman Sachs engineering campus hiring program so this was the program that was conducted last year in the month of August so the similar program is being conducted this year right so uh, just like we would like to know each and every detail about the program how was it scheduled how did you get the notification and like what were the rounds like everything just uh, uh, if you can give us a brief about uh, the complete process so it was an off-campus drive like uh, GS has this engineering campus hiring program like pretty much almost every year so like first of all it's open for every stream like every student whether from core or circuit or any branch can apply to this program and uh, so yeah like uh, you don't need any referral for this uh, drive it's proper off-campus you can directly go to the careers portal and apply there so it came to my notification through LinkedIn only, like the link was circulating and I just see that link and I applied there. So like coming to the process, like uh, overall we had an aptitude round, a technical round, and then there were interviews. So okay. for my, for like in August when this trial happened, uh, approximately more than one lakh candidates applied for this trial. 
So now coming to the rounds itself, uh, when the aptitude round, it was of one hour, 45 minutes. And the marking scheme was like plus five for correct and minus two for incorrect. So in aptitude, what matters most work was the speed and accuracy. So like you have to be very accurate with whatever you are putting in the as the option because it was minus two for incorrect. So like don't guess in this round. And like it was divided in section as well. Like there were um, six sections. There were questions from maths, reasoning, like numerical reasoning, logical reasoning was there, abstract and diagrammatic reasoning, like completing the series, what will be the uh, basic logic of that series, like that. And uh, maths questions like probability starts like that. Apart from that, there were comprehension based question where you'll be given a paragraph and you have to write to, uh, or like uh, the questions will be related to the comprehension. And in the last, there were two subjective questions, uh, subjective HR questions with a word limit of uh, around 200 words. So this was the complete aptitude round. It was of like one or 45 minutes and um, it was on hacker and i think so this was empty round okay so, so any particular yeah. resources that you did for uh preparing for this uh mental ability round or the first round like what is the most important thing or what are the most important topics if we talk about for this first round yeah so actually i did some of my notes from my uh coaching and like some modules uh and uh, if someone wants to know what all topics you have to cover, like uh, there's a paper of NTSC paper, like all the uh, syllabus of NTSC, it's the same as of Coleman. So for uh, like you have to cover every type of reasoning and series that are that are there, like the numerical series, the ABCD1 series, the analogy questions, and the like complete the series in respect to diagrams. So like these were the basic questions. For mathematics, it was like key probability, profit and loss, and there were pie charts and graphs based question were there. Basically so, data and type of questions. Yeah. Okay. So uh, what was the next round after this mental ability round? So after the aptitude, we had our technical round. So like this was the longest round, I think, because it was of two hours and 15 minutes. And there were five sections in this round. And like each section was timed. So it started with coding section. It was of 30 minutes and there were two questions. Then there was a quantitative section. Like there were around eight MCQs for 25 minutes. Then there was CS MCQs of um, 20 minutes with seven questions. Then there was an advanced programming section and like it had only one DSA uh, coding question. Then at the last, again, there were two subjective HR questions, I think the, uh, of 15 minutes. So like the whole entire paper was uh, like the sectional timing was there and the total duration was two hour 15 minutes. Like, although you can switch in the sections, like uh, you can switch between the sections. If you want to do uh, coding first, you can do coding, you can, uh, stop it in between and you can go to the MCQs as well. Uh, for the MCQs, again, there were plus five and minus two marking. Okay. So this was the round in which like they covered everything from CS fundamentals to yeah. coding to advanced programming to essay based questions. So everything was covered in the technical round too. So after yeah. like, uh, like you after uh, clearing this round, so then what were the other rounds for this program? Yeah, so like after the technical assessment, uh, we had interviews round. So like they were virtual interview, they were conducted on Zoom and they used a hacker and code pair feature for writing and testing the codes. So like I think around 200 candidates were called for the interview. So we had three interview round and they all were technical in nature. There wasn't any specific HR round. Although in the last round, like it can be expected that it would be a mix up of uh, managerial just technical, but yeah, you can expect technical uh, questions or like coding questions or puzzles or anything in each and every round. So particularly for me, all the three rounds were uh, focused on data structures and uh, coding skills only along with the discussion on my resume and project. 
but for uh, gs i'll suggest ki prepare for the puzzles they might ask you that like though they have not asked me but yeah prepare for puzzles and for mathematics questions as well okay so basically it's a finance firm so uh, mostly finance firms are asking puzzles and mathematical questions mostly right so puzzles are also very important as far as goldman is concerned so after this round like uh, you were finally given the offer right for yeah. goldman so this offer is particularly some uh, analyst role at goldman uh, and you'll be joining it in uh, this coming uh, coming summer so this yeah. was all about the process and uh, like j- uh, we just want to know what was your preparation strategy or how were you able to crack this particular test and this complete engineering hi- uh, campus hiring program by goldman okay so uh, coming to my strategy or my entire preparation uh like i started to data structure like as most of the students start so i started with the pointers and arrays and then i went till uh, like advanced concepts like graph theory and backtracking dynamic programming so i covered the data structures very well i understand the concepts and then for practicing purpose i did lead code along with on gigs for gigs so for competitive coding and for uh, like improving my problem solving skills mainly i did code courses as well so uh, this data structure and the cp part i did both of them simultaneously like in parallel it was not like he, i first completed data structure and then moved to cp so i did them simultaneously and uh, like uh, as you know that uh, time is of very much important in like gs exams as well as in the interview so for time management purpose i used to give virtual contest on the code forces so like during my entire prep my focus was on understanding the concepts and working on my problem solving and logic building so while preparing also like i have uh, realized some important points which i would like to share with uh, you so like these are some mistakes that we should all avoid so like uh, first of all to whenever you are uh, submitting a code and it fails don't look at the test case at which your code fails because it's very important that uh, you debug your code on your own without looking at the test case and uh, you have to cover all that you think of different test cases and the boundary cases at which your code fails because in the interview you have to debug your code on your own and in the technical assessment like the test cases are hidden like they, you cannot see them so it's very important that you develop this habit from the preparation phase only like from practicing phase only along with this whenever you are submitting your code just go and see the optimized version of it or like discuss it with your peers or see someone else's code because you'll learn something new from others code as well and it's important to see the editorial of the code because it may happen that you have submitted a own solution and login one exists so in interview they can expect you to write the optimized version of your code as well so like yeah this was awesome all about my prep yeah so it is really very inspiring like from um, everything it was covered from lead code to gsg to code forces so that was a hard preparation strategy and that helped her crack old man so uh, now coming up on to the resume part so uh when you are when you are applying for this uh program so you need to submit a particular resume so how that resume should be made and is it like what should be the important points that you should write in your resume and anything any mistakes that students should avoid while uh, submitting their resume see well i feel ki whether it's on campus or off campus like resume is really very important because your interview will start from your resume till like for goldman like they read every line of my resume they, they knew everything about my resume so resume is given very much important importance in interview as well as in like every phase of the selection so like first of all have a one page resume then since you are applying for a technical role so uh, highlight your technical skills properly like mention the technologies that you have used the language you know the databases you have worked with like that highlight them and mention them then coming to the project and internship uh, part if it's a group project then uh, write what was your role in the project or and do 
tell what is the working of your project or what was the internship all about in a simple line and then write what technologies you have used for that project or during that internship what you have learned the technology smart especially like the database that you have used or you have um, made a project on react like that mention it properly because like it gives a fair idea about interviewer about you like what all technologies you have worked with and you are comfortable with so and yeah like uh, there is a section of achievements in our resume like we all have that so in achievement section or uh, apart from like we include ratings and uh, like stars that we have on different uh, coding platforms so apart from that or uh, try to include some stats there as well like if you have uh, taken part in some hackathon you can write the total number of participants that were there you can write what was your rank in it what percentile you have scored because it really uh, helps the interviewer also the hr person also to also to see where you really stand so for those who are applying for campus hiring program right now uh, for goldman so what is the one piece of advice that you would like to give like that would sum up everything for this discussion okay so um, as in for goldman to prepare everything well don't leave out any topic it's for all other drives as well so don't be like he, they ask questions from uh, dp only or from trees only will not prepare graph don't be like that prepare dbms prepare concepts from oops prepare sql queries if they are in your uh, resume prepare every word of the resume that you have written there like if you have mentioned sql then be uh, ready to answer sql queries so don't leave out anything prepare for puzzles as well and uh, like uh, this is more about like when you are uh, practicing or preparing don't remain in your comfort zone like uh, for say if you are sol solving problem that are too easy for you and you are not doing some topic because you are not comfortable with it so like you won't grow and learn so every day when you are preparing pick some problems that you think are a level up from your current level and do them because that will help you in building that logic and problem solving skills so yeah that's it so i hope like everyone who is listening to this right now is well motivated to go ahead and give the exam that is to be scheduled very uh, in the near future so uh, thank you so much vaishnavi for taking out time and helping my viewers as well as uh, the audience to get to know more about this campus hiring program and how one should prepare and what should be the best strategy so that was all for this discussion i would uh, once again thanks vaishnavi for coming here and sharing her experience so thank you so much bye bye thank you arsh bye so i hope this analysis gave you a clear picture of to how to prepare for goldman the coming test that goldman is going to conduct in the near future and uh, guys do stay tuned with me on this channel for upcoming interview series for upcoming uh, series on operation theater so there there's lot of content amazing content going to come so uh, i just want you to uh, subscribe share and like this channel and share it with your contacts whatsapp groups everywhere so uh, do follow and uh, good luck all the best for goldman